Shalom. Shalom, man of God. How are you? I am blessed. Wonderful. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Leah Johannes. I am originally from Ethiopia, uh, but I have lived in the United States for the last 30 years. Uh, I was married for 18 years. Um, I have been divorced, unfortunately, for a year. I have three daughters. And um, the, the, just the attacks have been mainly on my oldest daughter. Uh, I have been trying to have her join. She lives about 30 minutes away from me. Um, I have told her to, to join if I am able to text her while we're in here. Uh, I really tried to build a home uh, that served God and worshiped him. My test came through a woman of God. I thought, I thought she was a woman of God, uh, but some type of spirit transferred from her to me. I, I remember the day she hugged me and I felt something transfer. And from that day on, I couldn't think about my husband. I started thinking about a woman and that destroyed me because I don't believe in um, same sex uh, attraction. And I feel like that shifted my focus from my home. And that is about the time that my oldest daughter, she was 12 at the time, uh, I had quit my corporate job and I was a stay at home mom for 14 years but she fell into the wrong group. She started smoking weed. Um, and by the time I did not know, I did not recognize the signs. So by the time she was 17, she, we thought it was rebellion. It ended up being bipolar disorder to where she was hitchhiking. She would stand in the middle of the road. She thought the FBI was after her. It's something I've never seen in my family in my life. Um, and I have been praying for a deliverance for her. She has been hospitalized twice uh, because if she's not on medication, she can't function. She, she, she doesn't know who she is. She thinks she's getting raped. She thinks she's, get, she's having miscarriages. And as a mother, it's, it's really torn me apart. Um, I got rid of that friendship, that, that woman. I pulled everything back towards Christ and focused on my family again, but it came in another way. I didn't see it coming and it came through someone else where um, just the sense of fornication, adultery, the things that I really, I love God and I want to worship and honor him. And I feel like such a failure because I grew up in the church and I knew, I knew what to expect and I knew I knew how the devil would come for me, but I didn't recognize it until after it happened. And now my oldest is 22 and I just, I need deliverance for her. There's so much bondage in her life. She keeps, every time she starts smoking, she starts, her medicine doesn't work as well. So she's at the risk of going back into the hospital. She's so smart. She went to school for IT. And she got a great career started, but then the people she surrounds herself with, they keep dragging her back to that place. So I just, I, I'm praying for deliverance for her. And if I can, I can text her to, to get on if she is, I don't know if, she, if she's at work or in between right now. Um, but it's coming from my other kids. I have two other daughters, they're 15 and 12. And my 15 year old, uh, she plays basketball. And I have prayed to God that, you know, in the culture of basketball, they're around, the same sex a lot and I don't want her to start getting confused because in this culture homosexuality is accepted but in our home it's you, not and she understands that you don't begin to talk on behalf of someone else talk about your own salvation is personal and you are to talk about yours you can stand in proxy for someone else, not talking about their own, okay? So, um, the gospel of Jesus Christ is the gospel of holiness, purity, 
and self-control. This kind of gospel does not destroy any human being and does not give room for condemnation. Jesus Christ was sent not to condemn the world. And that was why he came even to seek and save the lost. So anyone who claims he is righteous, anyone who claims he is holy and pure, is not positioned to have the Savior come into his life because already himself has claimed that he is holy. Herself has claimed that she is holy. All of us are sinners, and that is why we need God. All of us are sinners, and that is why we need Jesus Christ. All of us are sinners, and that is why we need a spirit that is holy. And this spirit that is holy is called the Holy Spirit. So no sinner is more righteous than the other sinner. All are sinners. I am a sinner, you are a sinner. Everyone in the world is a sinner. So we should not attach much importance on a particular type of sin. All of us need God. No matter how damaged your life look like, God is the restorer and the repairer. So there is hope for anyone whose life is damaged. There is hope for anyone who wants to freely repent. Repentance is not by force, it is by grace. So talk about yours and get ready to be attended to. Your freedom will affect everybody in the family. There is no, no trouble in God. God does not condemn anyone. God does not condemn government. God does not condemn professional and their careers. It is not where you are. It is whom you are, where you are. There are many people that have various professions, the one you mentioned, inclusive, that are living for God. There are many of them. They live for God. They do everything to please God. Do you understand what I'm saying now? So we cannot condemn a particular profession just because of the lifestyle of people. Profession is an institution that is ordained by God. So individuals in that profession should also learn to live for God. So we cannot condemn a particular career or profession just because one or two persons have characters that also need God. All of us need God. No one is perfect. So get yourself delivered. That deliverance will, will touch everybody. It's like a touch light in the midst of darkness. Once there is a very strong light in the midst of darkness, it is not the light that is being dispelled. It is the light that dispels all shades of darkness. That is what is about to happen now. So get yourself ready. Okay? If you have any other thing you want to say about your own self, concentrate on that and go ahead. I, I, I want peace. I want the spirit of fornication, the spirit of adultery, the spirit of shame, guilt, divorce to re be removed from my heart. And I want God to use me. I want him to use me for a bigger purpose, and I feel it in me. I feel how he can use me, but I need to. I need his grace to focus on the things that he has placed in me to come forth and not to be distracted by the enemy, not to be distracted by... I need to make the right decisions to stay in his will and not to choose my will over his and not to do things out of loneliness or to please other people. I just, I want to please God and I just want peace. And I have been suffering from depression and making decisions not to be lonely and fornication and associating with 
things and people that separate me from God. And I just, I want to be free. God, I who be free. is the master of freedom, who will set you free. What you are talking about now is a generational curse. If you are talking about this problem that um, affected your daughter, it has been in your family for so long. It is not something that just recently happened to you. It is a generational issue. Okay? God, who is merciful, will uproot that problem from the root and get everyone that is attacked by the problem delivered and set free. I desire to be a wife. I know in my heart, I just... I desire to be a godly wife and, and, and help other people and serve God through my purpose. And I just, I can't shake this feeling of guilt and shame and... Don't worry, anyone who has an encounter with God is always delivered from his or her past. Guilt, condemnation, fear, and inferiority complex, inclusive. So after the prayer, by the grace of God, the memory of your past will be removed and the guilt will be totally destroyed. Okay? Okay. And secondly, stop looking at people, ministers of God, as fake. For your information, your attitude did not change because you had an encounter with a woman. Your attitude changed because you personally opened your heart for something that is not godly. You cannot, you, you, can, you can't blame someone else for your wrongdoing. Any genuine repentant soul will always take responsibility of his or her actions and also inactions. So that woman is not your enemy, and you are not the enemy of the woman. Your husband cannot be said to be your enemy, and you are not the enemy of your husband, no matter what happened that led to divorce. Don't see him as your enemy. Don't see yourself as an enemy. Okay? Allow God to come in, forgive, set free, and restore you back. Okay? Okay. Right now, let us pray. You have to free your heart and allow Jesus Christ to come into your heart. Now call the name Jesus Christ for your freedom and salvation. Jesus, I need you. I need you. Free me, Jesus, please. I plead the blood of Jesus over my salvation and my freedom. Deliver me, Lord. <laughs> Call the name Jesus. Jesus Christ again. Yes, please, Jesus Christ, please save me. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear. Fear! 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 I send a fire of the Holy Spirit to your heart. And I stand against sins and sinful desires. I stand against depression, suicidal thoughts, shame, guilt, and condemnation. Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! Fear! Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave her heart alone. Leave her heart. I send fire to spiritual husbands, marine spirits. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! 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 I sell fire to idols. My 
Marine spirits, Satan, Lucifer, Snake, in the name of Jesus Christ, Clear. In the name of Jesus Christ, what are you doing here? Huh? Why are you attacking her mind, her marriage and children? In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you attacking her children, attacking her life, destroying her relationship and fellowship with God? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You spirit from the marine world, you queen of darkness, in the name of Jesus Christ, leave her so alone. You must leave her so. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, live our soul, live our spirit. Fear! 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 I set fire to her stomach, her face, her back. Fear! You serpent. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Who are you in her? Speak and answer me quickly. Who are you? Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. I send fire to your evil kingdom. You must leave her so. You must leave her and the children. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear. Fear. I send fire to your evil crowns, your evil rings. Fear! 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 Fear the rings, the rings, the rings. Your evil crowns and rings. Fear! 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 Your spiritual wife, spiritual husband. Fear the name of Jesus Christ. Let us sit back while your evil spirit speak. Fear the name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to her and the family? Speak louder. I don't, I don't, oh, I don't know. How did you destroy this woman, her marriage, and the family? How? <laughs> right now, I sell fire to the powers of darkness hiding in her body. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> None of them will hide. Fear! 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 I sell fire to the eyes, the face, and the tongue. And I sell fire to the covenant rings, the wicked rings, the rings. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! Watch the screen. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. None of them will escape. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. I send more fire to the voice, and I command your evil secrets to be exposed. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Speak louder. I I can't I can't talk. You are speaking already. What have you done to her? I can't say it. I don't know. You know. Right now, I send the quenchable fire of the Holy Spirit to your evil kingdoms. The married <laughs> world. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! You will beg to speak. You cannot hide here. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! Fear! I send more fire to the marine world. Anger, anger. Speak louder. Oh, oh, oh anger, 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 Man, fornication. Say more. How do you operate? There's a family history of worshiping idols. Her grandmother's generation. What Her did daughter. you do to the family? How have you been attacking the family members, their marriages, their careers, and their children? How? I take their eyes off God. I have to. I take their eyes off God. How have you been doing that, taking their hearts and their eyes from God? <laughs> Explain. How have you been doing that, you unclean spirits? <laughs> Fear in the name of Jesus Christ, I send fire to the witches wizard. Witches and wizards and occultic world. <laughs> Holy Ghost, fear the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! Fear! Now answer me quickly. You said you do take their eyes and their hearts from God and from serving God. How have you been doing that, you unclean spirits? How? Worshipping idols. Anger, fornication. I have to. Who are you that are leading them to worship idols, commit fornication, and have the spirit of anger? What is your name? Lucifer. <laughs> Lucifer! How else do you operate? You <laughs> Lucifer. Spirits of darkness. I come through other people. I come through other people who look like they represent God, but they don't. How do you control They're people? How? Explain you, spirit of darkness, the Lucifer. How have you been controlling the people? <laughs> I can't tell you that. Right now, I send a fire. Straight down to you, Satan, Lucifer, snake. And down to darkness and powers of darkness, you can see you cannot hide. Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! 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 I sell fire to water. And I sell fire to the air. I sell fire to the earth. And I sell fire to the sun, to the moon, and all planets where you are hiding to operate. Holy Ghost, uh -huh. fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Now answer me. How do you control people in the world as you claimed, you Lucifer? Speak quickly. Speak quickly. How do you control them? I sell fire to your secrets and to her tongue. And I also sell fire to her mind and heart. Where you are hiding. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I command the tongue to be opened. Now speak. How do you control people in the world, you Lucifer? How? <coughs> speak quickly. How do you control people in the world? What life of sin have you been using to control the people in the world? It's an illusion. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. You think you know the truth, but you don't know the truth. It's not. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. People think they get so smart. They think they're so smart. <laughs> they think they know more than more than God, more than me. So you know, they think they're woke. That's how I control them. Go ahead That's and how. explain more. They're too smart for their own good. They think they're God, right? So let them be God. <laughs> How do people dare God? How do they try God? I explain you, Lucifer. They think they can heal themselves? Okay. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. And that, that's how I take them away. This woman's marriage has been broken and her daughter is having terrible attacks and sickness called bipolar. Who is the cause? Speak quickly. What do you know about that, you Lucifer? I am. I am. <laughs> I studied her for years. <laughs> I knew what she was missing. I knew what desire would take her away. <laughs> Which desire? And how did you attack her marriage and also the daughter? Sex. 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 Attention. The attention of someone else. She wanted to be desired. She wanted to be needed, loved. I gave her that. I gave her that from somewhere else. How many people all around the world have you broken their marriages Attacked the, <laughs> the, attacked the fruit of the womb in this manner. How many? I cannot count. You cannot count. Let this lady face the camera while you speak clearly. Say that again. <laughs> you cannot count it. You cannot count how many. <laughs> Most of them. Most of them. How do you normally capture them, deceive them, and break their marriages? How? the desires of their heart. It's the flesh. It's their flesh. Are you talking about sinful desires? Yes, sinful desires. Yes. Who is the king, master, and sender of sinful desires? Lucifer. I will wait for years. I will wait for years till the time is right. And then I will send it. I will send the desire. I will fulfill that desire. Which desire? The sinful desire. Whatever they're missing. You cannot wait for me nor genuine children of God because God's desire is our desire. We have no desire of our own. God's will is our will. And we cannot I... be manipulated by you, Lucifer. You know. I twist it. I twist their desires. The desire to be loved, I will give you that. You will think that's what you're getting. Did you hear what I said? I said, we children of God, we are sons and daughters of God. Our desires cannot be twisted nor manipulated by you, Satan, because our desires are centered on God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. I will wait till you're not centered. I'm telling you. I will wait till you're not centered on God. You take your eyes off and I'm right there. How many people do you cause to take their eyes off God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, and then capture them in the world? How many? That's my mission. As many as I can. 
as many as I can. Do you know that there are people you cannot take their mind of God, capture them and destroy them? Are you aware, you Lucifer? Yes. Who are those people and what makes it impossible for you, Lucifer, and all the powers of darkness to operate in their lives? They have Jesus in their hearts. They have Jesus. <laughs> You are here in the city of Jesus International Ministry, and here I am, Christopher Oji. What do you have to say about me and this ministry, the city of Jesus International Ministry? I can't touch you. Speak louder. I can't touch you. I can't touch you. Why can you not touch me, you Lucifer? What does it mean because I will not allow you to touch me, nor the city of Jesus International Ministry? Jesus is here, and I can't get in. I can't get in. How have you I been deceiving people out of their focus? How have you been breaking their focus and then capture flesh. them and destroy them? How? I satisfy their flesh and not their spirit. When they take their eyes off their spirit, I'm right there. Their flesh, whatever makes them feel good, their ego, that's how I come. Were you aware that today is your last day of existing? Were you aware that you and all the powers of darkness will be totally destroyed? And this lady and other people you have been destroying will be totally set free and restored back to God. Yes or no, you Lucifer? No, 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 no. You no. claim to be smart and you claim to know things. Why did you not know this very one? No, 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 no. You were hiding in this lady when she was speaking, confessing her sins and saying terrible things. And I came up with God's giving, counseling, and prophetic messages. And you were hiding. Do you think you can hide here? No. Speak she louder. No, oh, she didn't know. She didn't know. Oh. She didn't know. Oh. This lady has been going to places for deliverance and for freedom. How have you been escaping and hiding to operate? Everywhere she went, she thought that's where it was, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't real. She was seeking in the wrong places. Oh. Oh. Where is this place? Is it wrong place or right place? Yes, it's the right place. Say that clearly. <sighs> Say in the name of Jesus Christ, say that clearly. Is it the right or the wrong place? Say that clearly, you Lucifer. Explain and say that clearly. What makes, uh, what makes this place, the city of Jesus International Ministry, the right place where you cannot operate? Jesus, Jesus Christ is worshipped here. Uh, How else do you operate in the world, you Lucifer? How else? <laughs> Do you operate in the world? Fake places of worship. They think they're worshiping in the right place, but they're not. Fake places of worship. <laughs> what makes a place a fake place of worship? What are the attributes, the characters? What are the works that are displayed there that can... Enable one to know that such a place is a fake place of worship. Sin separates. 
sin separates you from God. So anybody not seeking God is separated. One faith, you can't worship. And on the other hand, continue to sin every day. <sighs> so in the name of Jesus Christ, speak clearly and explain everything the way they should be explained. Uh, oh. Oh. In the name of Jesus Christ, how else do you operate apart from using fake places of worship to operate? Fake places of worship where sins and sinful desires are allowed, are allowed to operate. How else do you operate? Uh, fornication, spirit passing through people. Uh, so in the name of Jesus people. Christ, say that louder. Uh, say that clearly and louder. Fornication, spirit of anger passing from person to person. Spirit of sin, any sin you can think of. I can make it pass from one person to another. And every spirit, every person they've had sex with passes to the next person. That's easy. Oh. What kind of sicknesses and diseases do you distribute to people through these sinful acts? Sexual immorality and the like. Mention the names of various sicknesses and diseases you have used these sinful acts to introduce to human beings in the world. Say uh -huh. that quickly, you Lucifer. STDs. Uh, those are easy, though. That's that's what people are not scared of. What they should be scared of is the deeper things that are getting passed on, like like anger and 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 immorality and oh. Say them. So many. Don't so hide many. them. Say all. Expose them. Lying, cheating, and anything you can think of. Oh, they don't see that. They don't think about those sins. They only think about STDs. That's easy. That's nothing. Those sins are easy. Mention oh. those things that people do not think about. Mention them, don't hide them. Mention them. Oh, I'm tired. I send fire to you. You've got no choice than to speak and expose your evil works because you are going to be destroyed any moment from now, you Lucifer. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear. Now speak. Mention those things that people neglect. Speak louder. And lying and cheating and... Say that again. I break up homes. I destroy families. I destroy people. Ah! Addictions, alcoholism, anything, anything you want. Uh, uh, uh. This woman uh. said that her daughter always believed that some departments are after her, chasing the daughter, whereas these are just illusions. What do you have to say? <laughs> Who made the daughter to believe that people are chasing her, are after her, are killing her? There's a spirit on her. Speak louder. There's a spirit on her. What kind of spirit there's, is that? What is the name of the spirit? There's a spirit. There's a two-minded spirit on her. Two-minded. There's a double-minded spirit on her. What is it called? That spirit of double-mindedness, what is it called? What is it called in your kingdom of darkness, you Lucifer? What is that spirit called? What is the name? I 
I don't know. You know. Now I send fire to your ignorance. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Now speak. What is the name of the evil spirit that possesses the daughter of this lady? I can't say it. I can't say it. I can't say You're it. You're already I saying can't. it in the spirit. I and you, you will be forced to say that now. Right now, I send the unquenchable fire of the Holy Spirit to you, Satan, and all your intercontinental activities. Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! Fear! Now answer me, what kind of evil spirit have you sent to possess the daughter of this lady? Uh, I don't know his name. I don't know his name. I don't know his name. Uh, I just know where he comes from. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Right Fear. It's, 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 it's deep. Uh, Fear. Uh, the comet night in the hallway. You know the names, you know when they come and how they come. Now speak and explain. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, when she's sleeping, the shadows come. The shadows stand in the corner and they would bother her. They'd be in the same room with her. Who are those shadows? What name do they bear in your evil kingdom, you Lucifer? Oh. Speak louder. I don't know his name. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I send fire to the ancestral spirits. Your evil agent you are sending to attack the daughter. And I send fire to the spiritual husband, the marine spirits. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Now check <laughs> what is happening to the dark shadows and those evil agents of yours. What is happening to them now? <laughs> they're fleeing, they're fleeing, they're burning, oh, they're yeah. burning. None of them will flee. They are captured for total destruction and the daughter will be set free by the mighty power of God. Holy Ghost, free in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, fear! <coughs> what about yeah. the two kids? The two kids, yeah. apart from the first daughter, what have you done to the rest of the kids? <laughs> I'm coming for them too. I'm coming for them too. I'm going to confuse them. Their father's not there right now. I'm going to confuse them. How do you confuse kids? How do you confuse kids? What do you Take tell them? them? I give them things that they think love them more than their parents. <sighs> love them more than God. Mention the things. Give an example or examples. Come through music. The music they listen to, the friends, the friends. That's that's the best, the best way. That's the best way. What the friends. kind of friends? Friends who are not being raised in the same homes they are. Friends who may not know God. That's how I take them away. Who possess who normally possess such friends to operate? I do. Lucifer. Speak louder. Say your names again. Lucifer. Oh. How many children all around the world have you possessed, distracted, and destroyed? Hundreds of thousands, millions. <laughs> if millions. you, Lucifer, are totally destroyed now, what will happen to those children you claim to have destroyed? What will happen to them, their spiritual lives, their careers, their health, 
and their focus on God. Restoration, restoration to God. They're only children. Why do you They're hate all... restoration? Why? Oh. I don't know. You know. Why do you, <laughs> Lucifer, hate restoration and freedom of people? Because then they're not mine anymore. What is they're happening to your evil agents and your kingdom now that you are captured for total destruction? I can't lose. I can't lose. I can't lose. You have been defeated right from the beginning. Jesus Christ also came down and got you and the rest of the powers of darkness defeated on the cross of Calvary, he even conquered the power of death and hate when he resurrected and ascended into heaven. Were you not aware of all these things, you Lucifer? Speak louder. Yes, of course I know. Of course, of course, of course. You of are course. designed to be constantly defeated. I will fight till the end. There is no grace of victory for you, Lucifer, Satan, snake, and all the powers of darkness. Victory belongs to God. And we have the conquering power to operate in the name of Jesus Christ. What do you have to say? <laughs> no, no, no. Your no. no has been turned into yes. And you've got no choice than to be in the realm of defeat and destruction. Uh, I don't want to leave. 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 You are already captured. You will go nowhere. You are captured and you will be totally destroyed, meaning you will exist no more to operate, not only in her body, but in other places. The grace is not given to you anymore. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Now say what you have not said. All the secret jobs of yours that you have been doing against humanity, against human beings. I told you, I told you already. I told you everything. Say the rest. The ones you have not said. Say all. That's all, that's all, that's all. I, every day, that's my mission, you know, to take more and more away from God. That's my mission. <laughs> that's my mission every day. Now that you are captured, what is happening to this, your evil agenda or mission? I have to find other people. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> Speak louder. There's more people. I have to find other people. There are people who don't know. They don't know how to be delivered. Deliverance have... of one person is deliverance of all. When Adam and Eve committed sin, everyone became a sinner. Jesus Christ came without sin and he has made everyone to become righteous before God. The salvation of one person is the salvation of all. <sighs> what do you have to say? Are you not seeing that once he's delivered and you are totally destroyed, everybody's spiritual eyes will be opened to look and seek for deliverance and for their salvation? <laughs> Speak louder. There will who will not believe. There will be people that I can still get to, so Once I'm not you are worried. destroyed, your unbelief will be turned to belief. Ignorance will be turned to knowledge. Are you not, not seeing worried. what is happening already spiritually? Check. There are more people. I'm not worried about the ones that you're taking. There are more people. Listen. Right now, I send fire to the base of ignorance and unbelief. 
I send fire to all doubting hearts, souls, and spirits. And I command the fire of God deliverance to take place. Now check. Do you still have anyone you can manipulate? See what is happening now. Speak and confirm what you are seeing clearly. What are you seeing? Do you still have anyone you can connect to? Speak louder. I see everybody going to the light, to the light. Oh. You were bragging before you thought you could manipulate here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. I send fire to the darkness and to the powers of darkness to Lucifer. And I send fire to the snake, the serpentine spirit, the marine kingdoms, oh. Oh. occultic worlds. Jesus. Witches and wizards, and I send fire straight down to Leviathan, Asian beast, flying serpent, the dragon, and I send fire to you, Satan, and your evil thrones. I command all of you and your evil agents, evil agendas and works to be permanently destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fear. 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 I send fire to the heart of everyone, whether old or young, poor or rich. No matter your race. Personality, nationality, color, gender, status, family background. I command your life to receive deliverance, total freedom from Satan, Lucifer, snake, idols, generational curses, sicknesses and diseases, spirit of death, negative thoughts. Sexual immorality, lust, confusion, rebellion, disobedience, fear, guilt, shame, disgrace, inferiority complex, low self-esteem, Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ, fear, fear, fear. Fear! I declare everyone free and I declare the lady free in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why are you saying, thank you, thank you, Jesus Christ? Why are you saying that? I feel so relieved. I feel, I can't even describe the feeling of peace. I can't describe what lifted off of me when I, oh, when I started Everything in me was tense. There was this this gloom and darkness just pressing down on me. And I feel I feel Jesus right now. I feel his peace. I feel God. <laughs> Thank you. I know there are so many miracles that he is gonna do in my life and in my children's life. He is not going to do, he has started doing them, meaning you are yeah. going to enjoy uncommon grace. Blessings, breakthroughs, and powerful presence of God. You can place your device on a table and sit.
how to say, behind your unpleasant circumstances, there are unclean spirits that are hiding without you knowing. She was busy talking about so many people, talking about the daughter, talking about so many issues. And I told her, concentrate on your salvation first. Your freedom will affect lives of other people. Are you not seeing this becoming prophetic? What do you have to say now? Were you aware that you were possessed by Lucifer and other powers of darkness that operated to destroy your marriage, attack your daughter, and other things in your life and family? I did not expect that. I did not expect that. My focus was on everybody else. I thought my daughter is possessed. My, you know, other people coming into my life were, but I did not know that was going to come out of me. I did not know that. That's not what I've been paying attention to. What? I mean, I'm a sinner. Don't take me wrong. I'm not saying I was sitting here thinking I was holy, but I did not. That was scary. Because, I mean, I, I was here, and then I could feel whatever was inside of me. And it was like it, I was looking down at myself, and it wasn't me anymore. And I did not, I did not expect that. I did not know that was living in me. And I, and I pray, and I love God, and I try to stay close to God every day, but there was always this block, this wall that I couldn't get past. Thank you. I waited 12 hours yesterday. The day before, I, I waited another five hours. I was not going to give up. Thank you so much. And Thank finally, you. and finally. Thank you. And finally, you got your deliverance and salvation. Yes, and I will hold on to that. <laughs> Good. Thank you. How do you hold on to that? In other words, what kind of life do you want to start living so you can maintain your salvation, deliverance, healing, blessings, and breakthroughs? I cannot let sin separate me from God. I used to think sin was the big things like fornication, adultery. I know little sins matter too, but I did not know that I was opening a door if I lied a little bit or if I got angry, I did not know I was opening doors. So from today on, my mission is to make sure that I do. I, I have been watching you and learning a lot and, and seeing how doors are opened, the things that we don't know how they're coming for us, how the spirits are coming. I've been learning a lot. So I'm going to make sure I'm diligently looking with my eyes open, with my heart open, with my spirit on God. What words of advice do you have for people that always blame government? Some used to blame the police, others who blame um, the agencies in the governance system of a country. Some will see them as enemies. Some will see civil servants as enemies. Some see leaders as enemies. Some even see their family members as evil people attacking them and destroying their lives and destiny. Many have this kind of impression. You once had that in the past. Even your daughter was once accusing um, some part of government as if they were the one running after her. And I was telling you prophetically, they are not the enemy. Nobody should see them as enemies. Now you've seen the truth. What are your words of advice to everybody? I say people, it's not people that we fight against. It's spirits. It's spirits. And I'm not saying we should put uh, responsibility, full responsibility on the spiritual realm, but spiritual warfare is real. Spiritual warfare is underestimated by a lot of people. Every day we need to wake up and realize that it's not flesh that we're fighting, we're fighting spirit. And we need to put on 
the armor to fight spiritually because we keep fighting in the physical and nothing can be defeated. The fruit cannot be defeated if we cannot figure out what the root is and the root is spiritual. Everything that was happening in my family, I know it's spiritual. It had nothing to do with my husband wasn't giving me attention or that's why fornication or adultery or anything happened. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the root. The root are these sinful desires that we have and we act on those. The devil studies us. He knows exactly where our weaknesses are. And he will study us for years until he presents our weakness. And that's how we get attacked. Now you're free forever and you have escaped the evil traps of your enemy. The snails that were set by the enemies are spiritually broken and destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. And you are like flying with an you are just flying in the air of freedom and no power of darkness can touch you and overpower you. Now, Amen. you've gotten your freedom. You need to make God's word the source of your deliverance, the source of your salvation, the source of the peace you have received now, the foundation of your life and family. That is the first thing. Be grounded and rooted in the word of God and in God's love. And then every other thing will be supplied to you. In Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, man of God. Thank you. Many okay. people stay in faraway countries and they question so much evidence. Some would say this kind of deliverance is an arranged deliverance. It is not true. It is fake. You are right there in the United States of America. You've been watching other people being delivered. And you said, yes. let me go there and also receive prayers. And now yes. you have been delivered from the king of darkness. What do you have yes. to say to doubting Thomases? People who do not believe all around the world. People who are unwilling to seek for their deliverance. You know, uh, I found out about you uh, a few weeks ago from a friend at church. And I was having a really hard day. And she, I always used to see her at the coffee shop. This day, she walked out. She came back in and she said, I have a message for you. She said, God said, do not do, not do this alone. You need a community. So then she had me start listening to you. And at first I listened and I, and I'm not going to lie to you. I, I Googled you <laughs> to see if I could find anything negative or anything where, uh, I wanted to make sure this like what you did lined up with God's word, because there are so many false teachers and so many things. And your humbleness, your lessons, everything lined up with the word of God. I have I have been studying in church for at least 18 years the word of God. So I would recognize in my spirit if anything did not line up with that. And nothing you said was away or uh, off from the word of God. So I started listening diligently and following. And she told me to call. And... Obstacles started happening, and I knew that was because of what happened today. I know the devil doesn't want that to happen. He didn't want my deliverance, and I was adamant. I got up, and I would dial in. I would try to get the link, and I told you I waited hours. Yesterday, I waited 12 hours. I started at 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. trying to keep going in and trying to, to, to get here. What I will say to anyone who doubts is this place, this place is from God. I have been to so many churches. I have been to so many places that promise deliverance. And what I felt today was completely different than anything I've ever felt before. I felt I did not even know what existed in me. 
I did not know those spirits were, were in me. And now what I feel right now, the peace of God, it truly has his understanding. I, I can't even wrap my mind around what just happened to me. I can't. All I know is that was God. And it lines up with everything that that is the word of God. And for doubters, yes, the devil will come to make sure that we don't get the truth, that we don't go to the right place, that we don't get delivered. That's his mission in life. So City of Jesus International Ministries, thank you so much for blessing my life from 8,000 miles away. Thank you. I truly, truly, truly felt delivered. Thank you. Wonderful words. And I believe you have changed your route from doubt to faith. And once you start taking a step of faith, you are taking the right direction that will lead you to God, to Jesus Christ, and to the Holy Spirit. There is always deliverance where God is. There is always redemption where Jesus Christ is. And there is always eternal life where the Holy Spirit is. So these are packages that God has in store for you. Glory be to God. They are yours and they are the portion of this wonderful family that are going to enjoy not only forgiveness, but also um, sanctification, healing, deliverance, salvation, eternal life, uncommon peace of, of God and uncommon blessings that will push them to testify. Viewers, what about you? Glory be to God. Thank you very much for being patient, waiting, and for receiving and also for testifying. People would want to hear from you. Did you pay any money to be part of this um, deliverance Zoom meeting? Absolutely. Did you pay yes. any money to be part of this Zoom meeting? Oh, sorry. I thought you said, um, can you? I, I mean, I would. I will donate because I believe in the ministry you're doing, but no, I did not get asked to pay any money, anything. I just, the love of Jesus is free and that's what I've been offered. So I'm sorry I misunderstood your question. I was not asked to pay anything. Wonderful. Live a life of holiness and purity. Maintain your blessings and I'm seeing you coming back with multiple testimonies. Shalom. Yeah, I will. Shalom. Thank you so much. Viewers, what are you doing today? What kind of works are you displaying? Where are you? What is giving you joy and happiness? What are you celebrating? Sin is not enjoyment, and enjoyment is not sin. There is no enjoyment in sin. There is enjoyment in God's love. God's love promotes holiness, purity, self-control, patience, morality. God's love does not promote immoral activities or immorality. Let us love freely. In Jesus Christ's name. We are going to attend to as many as possible. We are going to attend to all. So get ready in Jesus Christ's name. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.